everyone. Just wanted to say hi and show you that we just finished mulching our family garden. And so I wanted to show you what it looks like. This is the East family garden. Let me give you a little garden tour. Some of you may have seen our, our peas when we planted those. That's what those are looking like now, climbing up the trellis nicely. Some herbs, sweet corn, parsley, peppers, beans, tomatoes. Those will vine over what used to be corn rows. Um, some Romulus lettuce here, more sweet corn. Some onions. These are for seeds, so that's why they're flowering. And then we have the onion bulbs down towards the end of the row. Um, some red Reuben basil growing here. These are beets. These were planted for beet greens. You can see what the robins do down there. It's going to have to do some uncovering of the row there. Uh, tomatoes. Cabbage. And some kale down that way. And these are some extra onions we had. We had some space in the row, so we just tucked those onions in the other day. This is always the signal to me that we that we did it, right? We made it through planting season. The big push is over. And so I wanted to show you the end result, what the garden looks like after it's all mulched and tucked in for the season. So now let's head over to the South Family Garden. Many of you may know we use a deep mulch system here in our garden and we mulch with hay. And the reason for using hay instead of, say, straw is that hay is cut when all the fertility is there. And straw, on the other hand, is the stem of a grain plant that has sent all its fertility up into the seed head. So the fertility really isn't there. So you're still adding organic matter but you're not adding the fertility that you would get from hay. So every year we bale the grass that's next to our driveway. And this year we had just over a hundred bales that we stacked into the barn. These square bales are pretty easy to carry into the garden and we just place them between the rows and cut the strings. The bale will naturally want to separate from the baling process. And we take like four inch thick sections and lay them end to end uh, with the strands as parallel as possible to the row itself. And then you spread each one of those squares in between the row, literally just shaking and fanning it as you go. So you're loosening and spreading the hay in between the two rows so that it's a nice even layer so you're not tripping over the squares of hay. This is our south garden. You can see the strawberry bed and some garlic, lettuce, peppers, some volunteer lettuce in with some zinnias planted there, carrots and beets, and I see the robins have been busy at work. Um, some sweet corn, cabbage and broccoli are in this section, a few tomatoes, and you can see in the corner there the auroch that's growing up um, along with some cilantro and other herbs in the corner there. This garden is all tucked in for the season. We also have a companion video to this one for our deep mulch garden. You can find a link to that in the description below. So thanks for joining me here in the garden. Hope you enjoyed this short tour.
we've got everything all tucked in and now we're back to maintenance work. All right, have a great growing season, everyone. Bye-bye.